There's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Wait, wait, that's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh, shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. Yeah, I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. Upload it to Desmond then. I can't believe this. Hello. This is. Uh, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay. Um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh. Oh, the memory core. 
We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us, and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. We'll take good care of you. Where is he from? What outlandish gear?
bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody stop him! My coin purse has been stolen! You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. Si. But how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal.
Oh, Ezio Auditore! I... I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened... Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back! Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course! Come, this way! Ah, che pasticcio. Tutto il santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Uh, 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 Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. It never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. What's 
the You were gone for quite a while. Bernardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Uberto Alberti. Trusted friend of the Auditore family. According to the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self-taught. Now, I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike.
Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore, friend. To think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known that he was? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. You! You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Abitore! Assassino! A vast web of connections and interconnections, all ruled by chance, or is it?
Bring me your sick and wounded. You should not be up there! Merda, he's getting away! I see him! There! Shit, I've lost sight of him! I've never seen a stranger man, truly. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could haunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Am I 
dreaming this? Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Pertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again. For everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Qui. Let's do it. approaches so let us sing for joy strikes down the evil guardsmen protect the girls and back boys. off somewhere on a rooftop there's a hero in the hood fear him not less you who have seen for his fall Avenging. <laughs> Some good people here might tell of a man who walks along the road of war. He is a little loud and naked to the soul of himself, fueled by flames of all this vengeance. Tra la 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 How could this have happened to us? I don't know. be back? I don't know.
stay what closed. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. Andiamo. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride... Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store, mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! My thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. Uncle Mario. <clears throat> it's been too long, Nipote. <clears throat> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, 
hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze, and I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me combini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Why can't he walk like everyone else? Spare a thought for others you might injure. <laughs> he 
must have been such a sad way moving like that. Oh, that is impressive. The regulars.
such unbelievable prices I have for you, stimati clienti. You will say... I suppose you only appear to be calm. You break something, the idiot. <laughs> Power doesn't die. It's passed on.
a great metal work here. All who need aid, welcome here. You should feel better now, but take care in future. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we owned, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, land, and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. <laughs> 